everyone. I'm Officer Long with the Euphredic Police Department, and this is K-9 Odin. I'm Officer Michael McGrew, and this is K-9 Breaker. K-9 Odin is an explosive detection and patrol dog, and that means that he can detect explosive material and assist with patrol operations, doing a wide variety of tasks that anything that we need to do. Uh, he's about five years old. He's a German Shepherd. I've had him for about three and a half years now. He's my partner. Uh, he lives with me and my family at my house. Uh, so we spend all day together, every day at work, and our off time. This is K-9 Breaker. He is a patrol like K-9 Odin, but his odor is narcotics, unlike Odin's odor is explosives. He is three years old. He originally was born in Germany, moved from Germany to Florida, and then now Florida up here in Maryland, where I have him. He lives in my house, comes to me work every single day. He's great with my kids. So when we receive the dogs initially, um, the only thing that they know how to do is to bite, and they learn that overseas. So we had to teach Odin basic obedience, uh, we had to teach him how to detect explosive odor as well as to track human odor. They're definitely both play driven. They love playing ball, whether it's in the backyard or rewarding from finding the uh, odor they're supposed to find. Both of us completed a 12-week school with both our dogs and successfully passed a uh, North America Police Work Dog Association certification to put us on the street. And we train twice a month for maintenance training, just doing all the stuff we've been, we were training at 12-week school. 12-week school, uh, we get the dogs a couple weeks for uh, familiarization so we can get used to each other before we begin training. And all that's done in-house by our master trainer. When the dogs that work with us, we have these vehicles behind us here. Every county handler has one of the vehicles. In the back of the vehicle, back where it says caution police dog is a cage, he has access to water back there and that's where he lives at during the street. Occasionally throughout the day, we'll get him out and use him on patrol, or we'll just get him out and play ball with him and keep him stretched out, that way he's not so cramped in the car every, all day long. We, we chose to have an explosive dog, we chose to have a Nakar's dog, so that's the odor we start him out from the day one we start odor. Right. Once he's trained explosives, he can't be training the other odors. Once Breaker's trained in narcotics, he can't be training the other odors. He will be a drug dog till he retires. I'm going to put Canine Breaker away, and Officer Long's going to demonstrate some basic obedience with K9 Odin here, and then I'll come back out with K9 Breaker and do an article search for you guys. Plutz. Plutz. Fuss. Fuss. Plutz. Seat. Seat. Plutz. Plutz. Fuss. Fuss. Good boy. Fuss. Seats. Out in. Fuss. Fuss. Free. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. He's gonna do this thing where he spins. He's weird. Ouch. Ouch. All right, so K9 Odin is trained. Um, this is his, his favorite thing in the world. He loves a ball, he loves a toy. Um, he knows that he's not supposed to get it unless I say that he can have it. He's, he's been trained to, to leave it alone unless I give him permission to take it. For example, plots, mine. This is mine, he's not taking it. So I give him permission, I give him his word, which is free, and he takes it, he's free to take it. Good boy. All right, do your thing. Those are German commands that I'm giving the dog. Um, that's just what I chose, I knew some of them. I, Growing up, I just, I just knew some of those terms. So it's German now. It's German is the standard commands that we, we give these dogs going forward. For any new dogs that we're gonna get in the future, mine. So like we said, they're both patrol dogs. One of the things that breakers can do for patrol-wise is an article search. This will be done anytime that we have to go find something in a tall grass or anything like that that just human eyes can't see. We're asking Breaker to use his nose to smell the human scent off those articles. So for this demonstration, like I have a set of keys here. I'm just gonna toss them out here someplace. Got a little coin here, toss it out there someplace. I got a pocket knife here, toss it out someplace too. 
Now I'm going to ask Breaker to go find that with his nose. Once he finds it, he's going to lay down right beside it, right in front of it, and tell me where it's at. Search. See how his nose is on the ground this half time? He's just trying to find that human odor. Yes! So he gets worried by the ball to find the odor. Found the one, I just told him to go find another one again. Here. Check. All I'm doing is redirecting him into the area I want him to check. Here. Here. Check. Odin is a German Shepherd. Um, he's actually a cross. He's got a little bit of Belgian Malinois in him. And the reason that these dogs are, you see is typically are used as police dogs, so they have very strong drives. Um, for example, Odin has a very strong ball drive, and that enables us to be able to train him to do certain things using the ball as a reward. Um, not all German Shepherds, not all Belgian Malinois are going to make good police dogs. It's all about the individual dog's drives and traits. So Odin is an explosives detection dog, and that means that he can smell explosive odor and let me know when he smells that and that way I, we can make the, the proper notifications to keep everybody safe. Some of the things that we use him for are any special event that you see downtown or in the city of Frederick, we'll be there to make sure that it's safe for everyone. Uh, if there's a serious crime like a shooting, for example, we can, we can use Odin to look for evidence, uh, expended shell casings, firearms, things like that. He's a valuable tool to the city of Frederick and if you ever see him out, feel free to ask me if you want to pet him and we'll make that happen for you. I wanted to be a canine handler from the time I was very young. I grew up um, around it. My father was a canine handler. Um, I knew from that from very young that I wanted to grow up, I wanted to handle a dog. I became a canine handler in this department because I always wanted to be a handler. I grew up training dogs and doing dog agility with dogs. And this is kind of the best of my passion with my uh, job. And I love to come to work every day with the dog. <laughs>